Okay. Um, some of the pronunciation. So, um, bom dia, sim, si, um, sim, tu, tudo bem, obrigada. Do I say obrigado or obrigado? I was wondering about that. Oh, yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's, that's good. You say obrigado. It's just I had a, this, this if, uh, it, it's obrigado if it was me talking. So, yeah, because I had a different text and I didn't change that. So it, sh it should finish with a no, okay. not me. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's, um, do you, you know want what? me to... Let's, let's, okay, let's just use the one that you can type on. Let's just use that, and I know that you've lost some stuff, but we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, so here, can you see that? I yeah, changed... Yeah, obrigado. All see. right, perfect. Okay, so uh, do you want to start then? Okay, see. Okay, I'll, I'll start then, okay. Bon dia. Bon, uh, bon dia. Tudo bem? Sim, tudo bem, obrigado. Very good. Eu sou a Sandra. E tu, como te chamas? Uh, eu chamo-me Deepak. De onde és? Uh, eu nasci. 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 There's something missing here. Eu nasci. Uh, hold on. Oh, sorry. It should be. I'll write it. Eu nasci. <laughs> sorry, I. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, uh, okay. Um. Eu nasci uh, em Londres, mas o meu pais. Mas os meus pais, mas sim. O, uh, são da Índia. Ah, são da Índia. Ah, ok. Uh, eu... Remember we covered this the other day. Uh, sim. Um, okay. Eu nasci em Londres, mas o meus pais são... São? Não, são. São da Índia. Índia. Is it India or India? Or... In India. Oh, India. India. Okay. Same thing, same thing. Okay. India. All right, cool. Um, do you know what muito bem means? Uh, muito bem means, um, is that like um, very good? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's correct. Okay, let's move on then. Um, Eu sou portuguesa. Eu nasci em Lisboa, mas vivo em Coimbra. So what this means is, I'm Portuguese. I was born in Lisbon. Yeah. I live in Coimbra. So, vivo. Okay. Ah, okay. Means to live. I live. It means I live. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The uh, the word just before vivo, mas, it yeah. means but. But. Okay. Eu não fui em Lisboa, mas vivo em Coimbra. Coimbra. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I understand what you mean. So you're born in Liz. So does 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 Nashi? Uh, how do you say Nashi? Nash Nashi. Nash, uh, Nashi means um, where you were born or where you're from. Or same. Yeah, is it the same thing? Like Sorry. Is it the same thing? Born or from? Same thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You can use it. Yeah. You can use it. I know what you mean. Actually. However, literally, it means uh, I was born. Okay. Literally, it means I was born. Yeah. So, eu nasci means I was born. It's okay. in the past tense. Okay, okay. Eu nasci means I was born. It's in the past tense. Uh, eu nasci em Lisboa, mas vivo em Coimbra. Uh, eh, o, o que fazes? O que fazes? Ah, o que fazes? You pronounce it, you pronounce it like, like a Z. Z. Fazes. You can do it like this. Fazes. No, not zh, z, with a z. Oh, z, z. z. <laughs> say z. it again. I'm sorry. Say it again. It should be the other way around. Hold on. It should be z e s. So z. Oh, okay, z. Yeah, perfect. Okay, fa fa z z. Yeah. No r, no r. Ah, oh, okay, fa, not fa. Fa, oh fa. Sorry, fa. Fa z. No. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay. Fazish, fazish. Fazish. Yeah. Que, yeah, that's, that's perfect. O que fazes? O que fazes? O que fazes? Um, okay. O que fazes? What does that mean? What do you do? Uh, it means, it means, it, yeah, it means what do you do? Ah, In general, okay. what do you do? Okay. Yeah. Eu sou estudante. Eu sou estudante. Again, 
eu sou estudante, it means I'm a student. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, eu means I, yeah. so means am, I am, yeah. the verb to be, and then student, it's, I think it's easy, it, yeah. Um, yeah, it's student. Estudar. Eu and then I'm, yeah, estudante. Okay, estudante. Uh, look, just so you know, for next time, um, you can, um, if you look where it says, you're on your Gmail account now, aren't you? Because you yeah. can basically, from Google Drive, you can just create documents and you can create a folder for Portuguese. And then I you can, I'll try and do that. Yeah, because then it'll be, maybe we can just work, for, I, we can always just work from that same folder and I can upload stuff there that I'm learning or whatever and you can just see what I'm actually doing. All right, that'll be good. That'll be good. I'll try and do that. Yeah, it's re it's really easy. You'll you'll figure it out. Like it's it's okay. actually better than Microsoft Word because then we can just share stuff like this. All right. Okay. I'll so, do that next time. Okay. Thank you. Student. No, thank you anyway for putting together this. Um, er, er, <coughs> sure student. Okay. Eu sou estudante. And then I meant to ask you also. E tu? So what about you? Ah, e tu. Okay. Um, I'd say. Well, I don't even know what I say in English, man. Um, exactly, so that's why I didn't write anything. But this this is something that probably people will ask you, I'm guessing. So um, we'll try and find out a simple way of, of putting it. It doesn't have to be like very accurate or anything like that. Shall I say that I'm a... Shall I just say I'm a teacher? Yeah, that would be <laughs> which good. Is, which is weird because you're teaching me. <laughs> and I'm not a teacher. I think. But maybe it's just easier, right? Because if I tell, yeah. try and tell people about running a technology company, internet marketing. Yeah, would... yeah that's that's difficult. You can say you can say you give classes through the internet or something. Um, yeah. How, well, how about I just say I work online? I work in online marketing. Is that easy? Enough? Online marketing. Well, on if you say online marketing, everyone will understand. If you want to put that into a sentence, you could say, "Let me write that." Okay. Oh. Eu, so I, trabalho, yeah, eu trabalho, I, in, eu trabalho, eu trabalho, marketing, is that it, marketing? What's, is there no, um, what's the Portuguese translation for online marketing? Uh, I don't think there is a translation, to be honest. We use a lot of English words. Oh. We don't translate online, and we don't translate marketing. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that makes it easy. Eu yeah. Tra... Eu trabalho, trabalho em online marketing. Yeah, uh, just a quick thing. Uh, when you see an L and an H together, yeah. you pronounce L. Yeah. And okay. an N and an H together, you pronounce it N. So N. Oh, can you write this at the bottom for me somewhere, like yeah. a rule? Yeah. This one is a bit difficult. Okay, okay. so. Oh, wow. I see. Okay. This should be, let me see if I can, hold on. New? Yeah? I'm going to, shall I delete all this English bit? Because I know that we had it in the original document, but here we've, we're deleting half of it, aren't we? Sorry? So I'll get rid of this bit. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh, and this. Um, this would be new, but I, I, I could... I can't put like an L and uh, a thingy on the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first one is ny. Yeah. Ny. And ny. Okay. And the second one is ly. Can you yeah. tell the difference? Yeah. It's hard to tell the difference. Yeah. And ly. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. Bloody hell. All right. Cool. This, but this is one of the the toughest parts, distinguishing between the ny and the ly. So if you if you, if you can do that, then yeah. that's good. Okay, all right, cool. Well, I'll try. I'll keep going. Okay, so when you say I work, I, I'm um, sorry, eu trabalho. Eu, eu, eu tra trabalho. Trabalho. Tra uh, trabalho. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Ah, okay. Eu, uh, eu tra trabalho em uh, um, online marketing. Yeah. Oh, I cannot just ask me more questions. So, what does that mean? Damn. Um, yeah, and then you can go on and say, like, I don't know, if you want to say... We'll come back to it, we'll come back to it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, then we'll, this one will be a bit more tricky, but, in you know, in, within a few weeks, when you feel a bit more comfortable, then we can... Okay. Okay, okay. cool, cool, cool. Okay.
Um, so this is this is was uh, I tried to write something down, uh, imagining that you were like in a coffee shop or something, talking to someone, and then you might ask or someone might ask you if you want something to drink or uh, to eat. This is very similar to Spanish. Quieres tomar algo para yeah. para vivir? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm writing this down for my reference. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that looks much better, by the way. That's all right. Okay. okay, so the way you pronounce this is Keres? Keres? Tumar? Keres? Keres tomar? Without the I, so not, not Keres, that's Spanish. Keres. Oh, Keres. Okay. Keres, yeah. Keres, okay. And, and I think you should also replace the I with an E. Oh, okay. Queres? Queres. Okay. Yeah. Muito bem. Tomar? Queres tomar? Algo. Algo. Para? Para. Beber? Beber. Beber? Is it beber? Beber. Ah, beber. It's not beber. Beber. Yeah. Be beber. 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 Okay. Yeah. Muito bem. Beber. O. So, O. Like this, hold on. In the bottom of the document, O. Oh, okay. Okay, means or. Ah. Alright? O means so or. the slash, it could, be, it could mean or, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you can, you can just do like this, alright. Okay, so, queres, queres tomar algo para beber ou comer? This is how you pronounce it. Queres tomar algo para beber ou comer? Yeah, beber. Remember, not beber. 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 Beber, yeah. Ah, that's difficult for me. Okay. Be. Be. Beber. Like that. Correct it. Not bu. Be. 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 Not bu. Be. Oh, that's that's what. Okay. Be. 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 B. Bebir. Ok. Queres tomar algo para bebir? B. No, bebir. No, don't say B. Because I don't. No. B. <laughs> it's. Yeah, this one. This this is a. It's a hard one to translate. Bebir. 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 Yeah, that. Very good. Really? Oh, ok. Bebir. 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 Ok. Ok, cool. <laughs> Beer. 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 No, not to ease. Ah, okay. Just I one. Beer. 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 Okay. Go ahead. Um, beer. Okay. Beer. Yeah, that was better. Beer. Beer. It's not. Beer. 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 The beer. The first syllable is already good. The first okay. part. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Beer. The second one is not. Not beer. Yeah. It's more like beer. Okay, but beer. Yeah. But Means beer. Oh, okay. Okay, it's not so long. It's like a beer, beer. Beer. Yeah, be beer. Okay, okay. Okay. And this direct, this literally translates as what? Sorry. Uh, what do you want to drink, or what do you ah, want? Ah, what do you want to drink? What do you want to eat? Okay. Quiere, yeah. so quieres tomar algo para beber? No, beber, beber. Be beer, uh, ou comer. Ou comer, yeah. And sim, poji. Is it poder? Poji. Poji. Pode. So then I say, sim, pode ser. This means, yes, I guess, or ah. yes, or something like that. So, yes, I guess. Uh, so, how do you pronounce that? Sim, pode sim. Yeah. Pod, pod yeah. ser. Ah, oh, sim pode ser. Yeah, that was very good. Oh, okay, sim pode ser. I think I was listening to something different yesterday because it was like pode there was poji, poji, but I don't know if that's to do with Brazil. I'm not sure. Pronounce pode. Oh, it's, uh, it's pronounced yeah. phonetically, isn't it? Sorry. The, the pronunciation is a bit different. Uh, in Brazil, it could be uh, instead of. Pod, I think they say Podgy. Yeah. 
it's a bit different, yeah. Okay, I prefer this way because it's phonetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sing. Yeah. Okay, sing. Pod, body ser. Pode, not body. Ah, uh, pode. It's more Brazilian. Okay, pode, pode ser. Pode ser. Pode ser. Sing, pode ser. Okay, yes, I guess. All right, and cool. Can ask. Uh, o, o que 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 não, não é só que que eres babir. Uh, yeah, it's similar. Yeah. Que que eres babir. Oh wow. Babir. Oh, sorry. O que queres? Okay. O que queres babir? Uh, o, o que queres babir? How do you say to drink in Spanish? Uh, 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 babir. Babir. Oh, babir. Know. Yeah, that was about. That was a lot better. The second one you you said. Babir. Babir. Yeah. Oh. Not bubir. Oh, babir. 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 Oh, okay. Well, wow, I understand it now suddenly. Okay, okay. And then I can say, un café, por favor. Okay. I think you understand what this means. Yeah, um, a coffee, please. Yeah, very good. Un café, un café, por favor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ac ac uh, aquitens. Actually, you don't, you don't read the U. Ah, you, you just I say need... aqui. Ah, aqui. Aqui tens. So it means here you go or there you go. If imagine if you go and get some some coffee or something, yeah. and then you want to give it to that person, you say here you go or there you go. Okay, okay, I understand. So um, a, 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 aqui tens. Aqui tens. Okay, aqui tens. Sim. Muito bem. Yeah, aqui tens. And you say obrigada. I say de nada. And then. No, this is nothing. Um, yeah, you can get rid of that. Coffee shop conversation. This is a. Uh, this is a uh, greetings. And then, uh, Quick note about the coffee. If you order, just um, if you ask someone, un café por favor. Yeah. I'm gonna bring you an express coffee. Do you know that? Eh, un espresso. Don't you don't have to. You don't have to ask for an express. Oh, they give it to you naturally, don't they? Yeah, yeah that's it's... what we drink. It's, it's not, not like here. No, no, your uh, regular coffee here. It's just express. Okay. If you want to put milk on it or something, you have to ask. Okay, so um, well, I would always have coffee with milk. So what do I say? Um... Okay. Uh, however, if you do ask for coffee with milk, um, they'll give me like what I understand is an espresso with milk. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to give you an espresso with a few drops of milk. If you want, uh, you can ask for this. Can you see it? Uh, uh, oh, you're done. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. This is, I think, I, I, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I'm not really familiar with all the terminology. Yeah. Because I, I don't like coffee, but I think this <laughs> is um, coffee uh, with... Uh, milk. Okay. How, right. do I, how do I pronounce that? Gallon. 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 Okay. Alright. If they don't understand it, you can say cafe con light. Okay, cafe con light. Con means with. Yeah. Light means milk. Okay, light. Okay. Cafe con light. Um, okay. Uh, for example, um, other useful things that you, 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 we, we can talk about under this topic, so yep. shopping and stuff like that. For example, uh, how much does this cost? How much do I owe you? Yeah, um, yeah. and that I'm lost. Be... Where is the nearest bus station? Where is the city centre? Exactly. exactly, so directions and stuff like that. Shall we go over that? Yeah, that would be cool. Okay, so let's let's start with directions, for example. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so um, on the oh sorry that's okay. On the e o centro, o centro, uh, the ciudad. This means I can write in English if you want. Uh, where is the city center? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. On the on the on the is Spanish. Aonde es el... Onde, onde, not aonde. Ah. Onde. Onde. 
Sabane, yeah, on the. Ah, sorry, on the e, o centro da cidade. Cidade, muito bem. Cidade. Yeah. Okay, on the, on the e, o centro da cidade. On the. Right. Ah, direita. Ah, esquerda. Ok, direita, esquerda. Direita, esquerda. Ok. Ok. Um... Is that straight? Is that correct? Straight? Em frente. Yeah, no, that's fine in English. Yeah, yeah. Ok. Uh, so the head, em frente, em frente. Ok, em frente. The first one is direita. Direita. Muito bem. Esquerda ou oh, esquerda? Direita. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is useful for me. Yes, yes, I understand. Uh, yeah. Is it esquerda or esquerda or esquerda? Uh, you, can, you can say both ways. If you want, yeah. Some people might say esquerda. Some people might say esquerda. Okay. I think I think um, most people say esquerda. 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 Ok. Um, and then, um, em, is it em frente? Sim, muito bem. Em sim. frente. Do you say C si in Portuguese or sim? Or si? Sim. 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 Yeah. How is that yeah. pronounced exactly? Because I've heard it, but... It was... Uh, okay, so it's it's hard because we don't pronounce the last M, so we don't pronounce it as sim. No one says sim. Okay, okay. we say sim. We do something sim. with our throats here. I don't know what it is. Sim. It's more like s s try and say if you say try and say if you try to say sing without the last G. Sim. No, 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 that won't work <laughs> because you say sim. Yeah, that's right. So sim. forget about that. Sim, sim, sim. The, the, the second one, the second one. Sim. Yeah. Although you are pronouncing the M a little bit, but that's okay. Sim. Sim. Yeah. Si. Si. <laughs> now I feel like I'm saying si. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, it's okay. It's just, it's just, it was one of those things. Everyone will understand if I say si or sim or sing. I think they'll know. Um, no problem at all. At all. So, yeah. how do I, how, what if they say like, um, you know, take the second left? Or yeah. take the first right, because that's what I hear a lot, and I'm like, what are you saying? Yeah. Okay, uh, so the most common way would be uh, vira a esquerda, esquerda. So the, the, the most common verb that you will hear when you're hearing directions yeah. is going to be vira. Vira, okay. Does that mean yeah. take? It, it means turn. It means more turn. turn. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, turn. Então, uh, então means so, so, so that you know. Okay, okay, you perfect. Say então, it means so. Sometimes I, it slips. Um, vira à esquerda, vira à direita. Oh, can you write that down actually? So, because that's like então says, isn't it? Then. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. So let me write that um, maybe here. Let's just have a section called random and you can put words in as I ask you and I'll, yeah, we'll sort yeah. it out later. Let, let, let's put here on the bottom. Uh, então means I can put it in Spanish. Entonces. Oh, cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, people say people say this a lot, so it's it's good that you get familiar with this. Então. Yeah. Então. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um. So vira a esquerda. Yeah. Vira, then you can place the replace it as you want. Vira à esquerda, vira à direita. Um, you can say volta. Also, also, hold on. Vai sempre. You will hear this a lot as well. Vai sempre em frente. Is it just in front of you? Does that mean? No, it means go straight ahead always. Ah, okay. Always straight ahead, so yeah. just keep going straight ahead, that's what it means. Okay, so... Why is the verb to go? Okay. Yeah? So, why sempre em frente. Yeah. Vira a esquerda. So, turn left. And that's... Just keep going straight. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, people people can say instead of the whole sentence, by sempre in front, they can just say sempre in front. Okay. Yeah. Understand. Uh, yeah. Okay. They can also say volta para trás. This means go back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Volta para trás. Go back the way you came. Go back. Yeah. Okay. Alright, um, what else? Um, what if they say, um, what else do I, do people say? How do I go to, yeah? Yeah, yeah, how do, yeah, how do I go to, how far away it is? Okay, In, uh, okay, então. Uh, and people give me directions like catch a bus as well, won't they? Or do, I don't know, yeah, catch a bus or get on the train. Okay, okay. Então, como vou como para, para. Um, and then you can... Then let, let's see, como vou para... Ok, let's put like this. How do I go to the museum? Como vou... Ah, como vou... Ah, no, como vou para... Oh. No, it's not vou, that sounds more... Vou, fun. vou. Ah, como vou para o museu? O museu. O museu. Sim, como, como vou para... para o museu, muito bem. Como vou para o museu. O museu. O museu. Muito o... bem, o museu, perfeito. Ooh. It's not pronounced O, it's O. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So the O alone is O. O. Uh, como vou para o museu? Yeah. Okay. okay. And the O and U together, you read it O. So, not como vou, but como vou. Ah, como vou para, no, como vou para o museu. Sim, muito bem, muito bem. Ah, uh, obrigado. <laughs> Oh, I'm still retarded. Um, uh, vou. Vou. Ah, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, why am I doing that? Can we both write at the same time? Yeah, we can both write at the same time, by the way. Okay. Uh, sorry, yeah. You write whatever you want. Yeah, I'm just thinking about other phrases. Other... Where is the museum? Um, how far away is the museum? Oh, yeah, okay. So we don't have like a literal translation for that. It wouldn't it wouldn't sound good. You you won't hear that. Okay. So the most common common uh way to say it. Yeah. If, uh the literal translation would be is the museum very far? Is the museum very far? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is how you ask it. Not it doesn't the literal translation for how far is the museum. It doesn't make a lot of sense. You, we don't usually say it like that. Yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, so but by asking is the museum too very far, you're not literally asking uh, is it really too far. People will understand that you're asking how far the yeah. museum. All right. Museum okay. muito longe. Okay, so the museum o museu. Yeah. Museu. Is yeah. Muito, very. Yeah. Uh, longe, far. Ah, o museu é muito longe. Yeah, I think in Spanish is lejos. Yeah, lejos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's uh, uh, how. Longe. Yeah. How far is the museum? Um, uh, and uh, how is how is the last word pronounced? Uh, longe. You can you can split it like that. Longe. Can you hear me? I I, I can. I'm oh, right. Okay. Longe. Uh, um, uh, um, museu. É muito. Um museu. Um, um museu. So, uh. so uh, one o is is one o always pronounced with two. What do you mean? So the o uh, when the o is alone, yeah. it's always u. Okay. Um. When o is alone, it's always u. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was confused about. Ah, okay. So how far is the museum? I don't really want to say I'm lost, but nah. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I think you should. I think you should know how to say that. Can you? Uh, what? What if I say? Um, uh, can you tell me where the nearest? Um, what if I want to catch a? What if I give me directions for a bus? Catch the bus. Like, or... Okay. Hold on for just one second because for some reason now I can't write. 
I really refresh your page. Ah, okay. Try that. Does that help? Hold on. Oops. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, I think so. No. No. Really? Yeah. Um. Can you, is it possible? Can you just, like save it and then send me the link again or something? Yeah, it's it's it automatically saves when you write. So maybe just close the whole web page. Okay. And uh, I'll send you the link again in um, Google Docs if you go back to Google Docs. Is this the email you just sent me? Uh, on Google Docs. Yeah, I think. Okay, here we go. Is it working now? Yeah. Is it, can you see it now? On the uh, on the random. Hold on. Can you see? You can't see what I want. Okay. What about now? Uh, no? No, am I in the same document? Yeah, now I can. Okay. Am now I in a I different can. document? or? No, you're in the same document. I see it now, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. It was just so, yeah. you're asking, you're asking, um... Like if I, that if they say, you need to, you need to catch your bus, or okay, yeah, where can okay. I get bus number 21, or something like that. Okay, or, yeah. okay. On the bus, up here. O autocarro uh, número 12. Ok? So, onde means where? Yeah, onde posso apanhar? O auto, autocarro é bus. Autocarro número 12. 12. 12. 12. Do, oh, 12. Let, me, let me write that. 12. Oops, no. 12. Ok. Onde posso apanhar o autocarro número 12? Yeah, muito bem. Uh, can you say the whole sentence for me again? I want to hear you say it. Onde posso apanhar o autocarro número 12? Ah, ok. Onde posso apanhar o autocarro número 12? Sim, muito bem, perfeito. Okay. Muito bem. Okay, okay, I think I understand that. So, uh, what, what is the literal translation? Where can I take the bus number 12? Okay, okay perfect, perfect. Yeah, all right. There was another one that you mentioned. Uh, uh, for example, is... someone tells you you need to take the bus. Yeah, like you need to take bus number 12 and get off on this street and you can walk from there or something. Okay. Uh, people might tell you something like this. Tens que apanhar o autocarro. Um, this means you have to take the bus. Yeah. Okay, so tens, tens. que apanhar o autocarro. Te, tens que apanhar o autocarro. Sim, muito bem. Tens que apanhar. Remember that. Um, que, so the second word, ah, you don't use the, the U. Que. Uh, que. Que. Yeah, sim, muito bem. Tens que apanhar. Uh, if you sim. notice, in the, in, the, in the third word, yeah. Que. Yeah, apanhar, yeah. Apanhar, so the N and the H, N, apanhar. Oh, apanhar. Yeah, apanhar. apanhar. U, U, so O again. Yeah. U, auto, carro. Autocarro. Carro. Autocarro. Ad so, if you break down this word into two, autocarro, yeah. carro means car. Yeah. Auto, well, you know what it means. Autocarro. Autocarro. Carro. -ro. I think <laughs> this R is a bit difficult. Car carro. Car I don't have that in my vocabulary. Car yeah. car two, two R's together. Yeah. So, one R alone, you pronounce it R. I don't think we have parent. We don't have that in the English language, do we? No, uh, I don't think you do. The R in the English language sometimes is also from, hard for me to say. Ah, okay. Otto, Otto, carro. carro. Yeah, okay, you can say I like can't. that. Uh, sorry. I... Yeah, the thing I think it's very complicated. Yeah. I think it's the same in French. Yeah, carro, carro. I can't, I can't. If you, say, if you say Otto, carro, uh, people will understand. Uh, okay. Otto, carro. Okay, so that means dash, go. Uh, tens que apanhar o, o 
Not not ku ku. Oh ku. 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 Not ku. 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 Yeah. Okay. Ah, tens ku apanhar o outro carro. Perfeito. Perfeito. And that means um, what does that mean? Uh, it means you have to take the bus. Okay. Okay. Uh, the bus, not the case, the bus. Why am I saying case um, for? Sorry. That happens to me all the time, don't worry. <laughs> um, okay, all right. I don't think they'll... What else did they tell me? Um, um, what phrases are they? Do they use like it's just around the corner? Keep going, it's second on your left. Do people say stuff like that or not really? What I need to know yeah. that... Yeah, let me let me try and come up with a little like sentence about that. Um, Okay. So take the first left and then it's straight ahead. Yeah, very good. Um, but how do I think que vira na primera esquerda depois? Depois. Depois. Ah, depois. Depois. You'll hear this a lot. Depois. Yeah, you told me that. De, no, okay. Depois. Depois. Oh, I should put P there, shouldn't I? Depois. You're really good at te teaching, you know. You should, uh, you could make money as a Portuguese student. I, I don't know if there's a big market for it, though. I don't know that there is. Yeah, exactly. So my friends, I have a friend. She teaches um, Spanish, and she has so many requests. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But I, I never try teaching Portuguese. I think I'll, uh, I'll give it a try, maybe. I think you should definitely. I'm. I'll, I'll try and find you some Portuguese work. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're good. You're very good. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, okay, so you can say that depois vires à direita. Uh, what vocabulary might you find? Uh, for example, if someone tells you there's a there's a bank, and you turn right or something. Yeah. Uh, so a, yeah. Is it? Would this all be part of one conversation then? Yeah, this would be like um, someone telling you, okay, so you have to turn first in your left, then straight ahead, then the, then right, okay. bank, and then there's right there. Okay, and then okay. Something like that. So, primera izquierda. Let's imagine you're asking directions for a hotel, okay? Okay, perfect. So... This might be a bit, a bit difficult. Too many two word, new words here, maybe. What the hell? Hello? Yeah? Oh, no, sorry. It's Windows, oh. Windows 8 screwing with my mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry, keep going. I'm just... So, can, uh, can you, can, do you know how to ask... Where is the hotel? Do you know how to ask that in Portuguese? Can you try it? Uh, no, we. Como, I already told you. Como uh, vou para o hotel? Yeah, wait a minute. See, can you can you try and write that? Yeah. Um. Fuck. Uh. Right. And it, be, before the instructions. Ah, uh, sorry. Where yeah, do you no, put it? The question. Yeah. Right. Right before. Yeah. There, there you go. Yeah. So be yeah. Como no. Uh, como it's you. Uh, 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 vou, uh, para. Para. Uh, uh. El. No. no, that's Spanish. U. Uh, just to know, yeah. Ah, uh, hotel. Yeah. Is that right? That's como, perfect. Como como vou para o hotel 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 is it hotel yeah you don't hotel. read the h hotel yeah it's English isn't it hotel yeah <laughs> um, so como vou para o hotel no I got it. is that right or no uh say it again uh como vou para o hotel sim perfeito 
Okay, because it was rhyming, so I thought maybe I got it wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> no. that means, um, where is the hotel? It, no, it means, how do I go to the hotel? Oh, shit, sorry. Okay, so if you wanted to ask, where is the hotel? You yeah. would say, on the air hotel. Why am I saying that? Do I get get to the hotel? Yeah. So the the first sentence under the directions is yeah. on the e o centro da cidade. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So on the means where. So if you want to ask where is the hotel, you use on the on the e o hotel. On the o hotel. Okay. On the where is it again? Where is it? Okay. It's Right, it's. I think it's the first sentence here. On the... This one. Ah, it's because I've yes. written this wrong. This is um. Now that's about. I'm confused. Isn't have okay. I put Como? I'm going to you again. So, what you've written? Yeah. Como vou para o hotel? Okay. I'll say, pronounce that again. Como vou? Como vou? Yeah. Para o hotel. Ah, como vou para o hotel? It's not yeah. o and then o. It's they're slightly different. Okay. Oh. Yeah, remember because o, the O and U together, you pronounce it as O. O. Oh. Ah, okay. But the okay. other one is U. Ah, uh, vo U. Ah, okay, yeah. I understand. Então, como vou para o hotel means how do I go to the, how do I get or how do I go to the hotel? Okay. Okay. And if you want to ask where is the hotel, you say on the air hotel. Oh, okay. Do you see the difference? Yeah. So, how do I go to the hotel or how do I get to the hotel is como. Como vou para o hotel. So, I've written that wrong, haven't I? Uh, the yeah. English, the English translation, that's why I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. So, so this, you, would be, this would be uh, how do I go to the hotel or how do I get to the hotel. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. How do I? Oh, come on, Deepak. How do I get to the hotel? Uh, okay, perfect, perfect. Como vou? Como não? Como vou para o hotel? Yeah, that's all right. How do I get to the hotel? Okay. Um. Some useful, use, useful things for you to do to 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 you know, for you to know. So bus stop. Yeah. What about this big one underneath it? What? Atens que vira na primeira esquerda. We didn't go through that, did we? Yeah, we did, but oh. we can go over it again if you want to. Uh, sorry, yeah, I think maybe I'm not with it. Like, yeah, can we go over that one again? Because that's scary. Yes. Okay, that will be that will be the, the, the answer to your question. So you can ask someone, como vou para o hotel? And someone will ask will ask, uh, answer you saying, bom, so, oh. well. Tens que virar na primeira esquerda. What does bom mean? Uh, means well. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tens que vir... Yeah, you can put that into the random, yeah. <laughs> With an M on the end. Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, they might say, Tens que virar na primeira esquerda. Yeah? Yeah. Depois vais sempre em frente. Yeah. Depois viras à, esquerda, à direita. Depois viras à direita. Yeah. Okay, this, this last part I didn't explain to you. It, it, it says, Há aí um banco. Há aí um banco means there's, there's a bank there. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, this one is a bit more hard to explain. So, a the first word, yeah. means there is. Okay. It's 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 the it's the same thing in Spanish as I. Uh, no, I. No, uh, I. I. Okay. Okay. Um, you, there I, is. Tens que virar na primeira à esquerda. Depois. Muito bem. Depois vai, vai, vai sempre. Vais. Ah, that's it. Mm, Pronounce there always s at the end. When it, what's the rule for that? Is there a rule for, uh, for what? Whenever you see an S at the end, it's, what? Sh, it's pronounced sh, not like, it's not vice, it's vice. Ah, uh, uh, a rule for that. Okay, so, 
Do, do you know what I mean? I think it's only... How, how do you pronounce the last S? Yeah, with the S, you know, like you did yeah and Lye. Yeah. Is this another yeah. rule? Like, um, if... Uh... I think it's always pronounced... If it's in the in the end of the world... Uh, of the word... <laughs> the word <laughs> is... Sh. Yeah. Vaish. Uh, if it's if it's in the end, vaish. Okay. In the end, it's vaish. Okay. Vaish. The poish. Taish. The poish. It's similar words. So taish also ends with sh. The poish also ends with. Yeah, it makes sense now. Can we put that in the rules at the bottom, or we already put that in? Okay. Do you want to put that into your own words, or do you want me to write it down? Uh, can you write it down and then I'll change it in here, right. in so, here, here you go, that section, the first page. Something like that? Oh, where are you? You're at the bottom. In the rhythm stuff. Ah, okay, cool. If, if it ends with S, you pronounce it SH. Yep. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So. If it's in the beginning, it's S. So, for example, in... sempre. Okay, sempre. Yeah, no, I know that one then. So, it's just at the end. If it's boys, it's boys, or for example. Okay, so, uh, is it virar again? Virar. Tens que virar na primeira esquerda, depois vais sempre em frente. Depois, depois, depois. Muito bem. Uh, depois uh, virar a direita. Muito bem. Uh, direita. Okay. Yeah. This, okay, so the, the last sentence is a bit more tricky. Yeah. It, it, it might be something that you might hear, so don't be scared about it. So the first word, a, yeah. H, H A means there is. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, let's, let's leave the... Um, the the second uh, word uh, for last. Okay. Um, um, it's one or a. Okay. Bank means bank. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the the second word a means there. So it mean the whole sentence, the, not the whole sentence, but the first part until bank means yeah. there's a bank there. The, oh, the first okay until uh, the first part until the bank. Oh, I see what you mean. I, yeah, I, um... so I'm going to underline it. Okay. Okay, so this part. Yeah. This means there's a bank there. Okay, okay. Okay. Hi, ha, I, um, bank. How do you ah, pronounce Remember, you don't, you don't, you don't. Ah, yeah, ah. Yeah. Ah, I, um, bank. Ah, ai. Ah, ah, ai. Do you notice that the, the I has a little thing on the top? Yeah. Okay, I don't know how to say that in English. I, I... Uh, it's it's this thing here. Hold on. This thing. Give me one uh, second. I'm just gonna grab the bottle of water from the other room. I'll come back okay. in ten yeah. seconds. All right. No problem. Okay, hey, I'm back. Okay. Okay. So, where were we? Um, you were talking... Okay. Sorry, go on. Yeah, so, uh, the second word, it's pronounced AI. AI. A, AI, un banco. Muito bem. A, AI, un banco. A, AI, un banco. É o hotel, é logo, logo? No. Logo, logo. Logo a seguir? No. Seguir. Yeah, yeah, sim, muito bem. Logo a seguir. So what this means is this this part that I'm going to underline. Hold on. Yeah. It means and the hotel is right next to it. it that's what it means. Ah, okay. Okay. E when when the e is alone means and. I can add okay. that. 
Random. <laughs> um, so the whole translation of this whole section is literally, I should be able to work it out actually. Dej, Dej, what does Dej mean again? Um, uh, you have to. Say again? Tens que virar means you have to turn. Ah, okay, that's it. So, so it's, uh, what is it? Turn, um, you have to turn, um, you have to turn, first you have to turn left. Uh, no, it means you have to take, uh, to turn on your first left, a literal translation would be. So you imagine that, that there are several streets on your left, you have yeah. to take the first one. Uh, so you have to, you have to turn, can you write it down as it would be in English, literally, like literally? Okay, um, Just literally it would be... You have to take the uh, the the first left, maybe maybe something like that. Take the first left. Does that makes sense in English. Yeah, yeah, it does. You have to take the okay. first left. Okay, and then uh, the Polish could be translated as and then. Yeah. Uh, okay. You go straight ahead. Uh, okay, I get it now. Okay, and then it says. And then turn yeah. right. No, not yet. Uh, oops, sorry. I got excited. <laughs> then right, and then uh, there's a bank there. Uh, Something like that. Sorry, my um, computer's being... Okay. Why is it doing it? Why is it? It doesn't matter. Uh, what the hell? There is a bank there. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. That and and the hotel is right next to it. Okay, perfect. So to, okay, so tens que virar na primeira à esquerda depois 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 vai sempre em frente depois depois virar. Is it virar? No. Virar. Muito bem. Virar. Ah, okay. Virar à direita. 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 Oh, direita. Sorry. Okay, okay. Why is... Isn't... Okay. Shouldn't virar be with two R's? There's only one R. Or is it... Not, am I pronouncing it wrong? If it, if it had two R's, then you would pronounce it direita. Because two R's is R. No, no, not, not direita. Direita. Direita is good. I'm talking about virar. Ah, uh, yeah, it's also one R, so it's r, virar, virar. I thought it'd be V I R A R, because that's how I understand it. It's not viras, it's virar, isn't it? Ah, hold on. Uh, no, you should pronounce it depois viras. Oh God, sorry. Because virar, virar, it's like it's, it's it's the literal tra literal translation for to turn. Okay. V Virish is the um, the form for the second. I don't know how you say it in English. Second person singular. Okay. So it's you. Okay? okay. So when you say I turn, you turn, he, she, he turns. Yeah. Okay. So virish is uh, the equivalent of he, she, it turns. Okay. That's why we also put an s on the end in the end. Okay. okay. Yeah. Virar is like the general term for the verb, so to turn. Ah, I see. So okay. Can yeah. we write that down in random? So, yeah. so that's what you got. Virar and viras, have you? Virish. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. virar is the infinite. I think that's how it's called, infinite, infinite, or something like that. But that's when you it's use the vir. This is for um. When you, uh, what does virar even mean again? To turn. That's it, to turn. And then virash, to turn. And then this is um, about a specific person. 
Yeah, exactly. What about they? He, she, they turn, yeah? Uh, yeah. Not, not they, maybe. No, not they. Uh, yeah, this is what is more, more difficult about Latin languages. Um, you have different forms for almost each person. So if you want to talk in plural, yeah. you say eles, so they, eles. Eles, okay. Viram. Viram. Viram, let me write that. I, I didn't want to go into too much detail. In yeah, let's, you know what, I'm realizing now that I'm getting confused. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. And if you want to, you can just um, Google it and uh, try and Google how to uh, conjugate the verb to turn in Portuguese. Okay. And then you will see all the different forms, all the different variations yeah. from the verb virar. Okay, virar. Yeah? Okay. So I don't think you should waste too much time on it right now, otherwise you'll get very confused. Yeah, let, I was going to say, could we um, stop now doing anything new and just go over what we've got? Yeah, <laughs> <'Cause>... exactly. yeah. <laughs> this is too, too much already. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, now I realise that there's a lot going on. Yeah, I just, I just wrote down a few words oh, did uh, you? for the oh. same topic. So let me write the translation, translation here. So the first one is bus stop. Okay. Taxi, I just want wrote it down because taxi is, is the same thing. So taxi, taxi, exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah. Paragon de auto. How do you pronounce that? Par paragon. Paragon. No, paraje. Oh, paraje. 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 Can you pronounce pronounced? Come on. Oh, hey, can you, so can you, what's traditional Portuguese food? Ah, okay. Uh, there are a lot of things, actually. Uh, probably one of the most popular dishes would be uh, bacalhau. Have you come across this term? No, but I will when you cook it for me. Okay, <laughs> it's codfish. It's codfish? Yeah, so we have like literally more than a hundred recipes. Oh, for wow. Codfish. But yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, so you should definitely try that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are other stuff. Okay, okay, but codfish is like the one of the most popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, so, paraje de autocarro. Auto, autocarro. Autocarro. Mm -hmm. Autocarro. Oh. Okay, so paraje means stop. So you can you can hear that. Uh, you can say, for example, train stop. Also. Yeah. In train station. Okay. So. Paraje can, can be used not only for the buses, but for any other type of, um, of uh, transport, okay? Okay. Right. So, comboio, comboio. Yep, yeah, comboio. Is train. Oh, okay, comboio is train. Bilete, is that a ticket? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, Bilete, so remember, L and H oh, together. Oh, yeah, Bilete. Yes, very good. The okay, ticket, um, car, bus, coach. Yeah, all right. bus is fine. Um, okay, all right, that's cool. Okay, you want to go over? Is there in? Is there something that you like to go over into, like more detail, or to go over again? Um, I um, my head hurts a little bit because I was doing some Spanish earlier. Um, and uh, uh, Spanish, you also Portuguese. French. No, oh. no, I'm not doing any Spanish. Um, that you know, not Spanish, Portuguese. Look, if you look okay. at my screen, I've been, I started doing my writing. Just, just some oh. stuff I was trying to learn, but I think, <laughs> I think I confused myself because <laughs> I've got all these text stuff that I'm writing. But like, I need to just, um, I just, it's just because I'm just starting and I want to try and learn quickly. Okay, okay. Um, if there's something that you, while you're reading your stuff, if there's something that you, you're not sure if you can just, um, and if you want like a real quick uh, answer, you just um, maybe you can email or something, and then I'll. Yeah. I don't want you to get stuck or anything like that. So. Okay. No, that that would be that would be cool. I appreciate it. I appreciate okay. it. Um. So, can we just like literally go through like talk them yeah. talk everything out on the page, and that's 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 enough. Yes. Yeah. If that's okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, shall we start on the... Okay, so the whole page? Yeah, like everything that we've okay. written, if that's okay. Yeah, sure, let's go. Oh, bloody hell. I'm scared. Okay. Uh, okay, um, uh, hola. 
Um, hold on. Uh, lesson one or lesson two? Okay, lesson one. Okay. Um, uh, oi. Uh, tudo, uh, tudo bem? Sim, e contigo? Tudo bem. Uh, eu chamo me Deepak. So, so. Oh, ah, Deepak. get rid of that. You remember, the, these are two different ways of saying the same thing. Oh, say... yeah. Okay. I remember. Yeah. So, delete this bit here. Le le you can leave the. Oh, sorry, there's there's something wrong with the formatting on my. Um, oh, okay, that's okay. why I keep messing stuff up because I can't. It looks. Like it's got I rid of the e now, hasn't it? Has yeah, it? but I can. Yeah, you can just type the e. If you can type it back in for me, sorry, yeah, I, I yeah. don't know why it's not working. <laughs> oh, I'm hating Google Drive now. God. Okay. Um. Ah, it's just meant to be a do. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, so, tudo bem. Eu chamo me Deepak. Um, e tu? Como te chamas? Eu chamo Sandra. Ah, uh, would I say, um, muy prazer? Um, no. <laughs> yeah. Prazer, yeah, you, you could say muito prazer, sim. Ah, muito prazer. Ok, so I'd say um, eu te, tenho uh, 27. No, muito no, 20, 27. Sim. 27 an, uh, anos. Anos, yeah, not an anos. Oh, yeah. That's anos. Anos, yeah. Anos. Muito bem. Anos. Um, uh, e tu, uh, quantos uh, anos tens? Eu tenho 26 anos. De onde és? Uh, é, é, eu show é o é o show seu não remember the sh is only when the s is in the end of the word ah, uh, so yeah very good eu sou em uh, inglês uh, eu sou inglês e, e tu és portuguesa sim eu sou portuguesa muito bem let's go to the second one okay bom dia bom dia tudo bem? Sim, sí, tudo bem. Obrigado. Eu sou a Sandra. E tu? Como te chamas? Eu chamo-me Deepak. De onde és? Oh, fuck. Um, eu nasci em Londres, mas sou mais país sou da Índia. Muito bem. Eu sou portuguesa. Nasci em Lisboa, mas vivo em Coimbra. Uh, o que fazes? Faz... Não. Ah. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Fazes? Ok. Eu sou estudante. E tu? Uh, eu trabalho... Trabalho... Yeah, trabalho em online marketing. Muito bem. Ok. Uh, um, instead of saying ok... Yeah. That's how you say it in English. We also use ok a lot. A lot. But we don't say OK. Obviously, if you say OK, everyone will understand. Yeah. We say OK. Ah, OK. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. OK. Um, OK. <laughs> yeah, you can say OK. OK, so... Um, queres, to uh, queres tomar uh, algo para beber? No. Oh, fuck. Beber. 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 No. Because I think that in your uh, brackets you have an I, and I don't think you should put uh, an I, otherwise you will keep pronouncing it as Okay, ch change it, yeah. I don't know how, uh, uh, to me I just put an E on it. B, bir. So the last sound is bir, ir. 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 Oh. Not ir, ir. Oh, why is my thing messing up? I, I don't, okay, I can't type. Um, yeah, well, okay. Do you want me to, to replace the I with an E? Like that? Uh, yeah. Tr Does that work? Uh, no, put an, put an E after the I. Like that? Oh, okay, oh, okay sorry, like that. Uh, is, is that what you're saying? Bubir. So, B, um, Babir. But how do you pronounce it again? Bubir. So, B, put B I E R. So, beer. B I E R. B. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, B sure. Uh, B I E R. I E R. And then uh, get rid of the E at the end. Beer. Yeah, I get it. beer. Nope. No I. There's no I. <laughs> beer. 
How how can you hear an eye? Bubby. Okay. Well, let me let me try and break down the word for you. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm that's obviously okay. laying that bit. No no no, that's absolutely fine. So the first part is b. 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 Yeah, you got that. So the the second part is maybe if we do it like this, this might help. Try and read it now. Uh, Let's see if that helps. Babir. Yeah, that's better. Babir. Ah, babir. 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 Yeah, that last one. Babir. Yeah. Oh wow, okay, get rid of, you can, okay, so, quieres tomar algo para beber? Muito bem, oh. ou comer, right? Okay, wow, oh yeah, ou, ou comer, so, uh, quieres tomar algo para beber? Mm-hmm. Beber, 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 ah, so, oh, wow, okay, quieres yeah. tomar algo para beber, uh, ou comer? Uh, remember, ou, not ou. Ah, ou, ah, yeah. Because uh. it's... Uh, is it? Well, it's messed it up, isn't it? <laughs> Can you yeah, change no it for me? Sorry. Do you want to change? Uh, I was talking about this one. Yeah, yeah. Can you put in in brackets ah. after it? Can you put P for pronounce yeah. and then hyphen um, double O? Okay. Yeah. All just right. yeah. Sorry. Um. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, in English that will be a double O. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Then I say, sim, pode ser. Sim, pode ser. O que, uh, o que queres? Beber? Beber? Uh -huh. Muito bem, sim, muito bem. Um café, por favor. Uh, aqui tens. Muito bem. Obrigada. De nada. No, de, de nada. Oh, fuck it. De nada. De nada. All right, so now, um, what if I ask for, is it galau? Galão is when you, you have like um, a glass, a full glass. Yeah, coffee with milk, the big milk. one, like, like English. Or café com leite. Café com leite, sí. Café com leite, okay. Although, although if you ask for café com leite, they might just drop a few... Uh, bits of milk in the espresso, milk. yeah. In the express. Yeah, now I remember. Um, yeah. So, directions now. Um, uh, uh, on the... Uh, Onde é o centro de, da cidade? Muito bem. Uh, direita? direita Sim. Esquerda? Sim. Uh, em frente? Muito bem. Uh, vira à esquerda? Sim. Uh, vai sempre em frente? Muito bem. Volta para trás? Volta para trás. Sim, muito ah, bem. Volta para trás. Uh -huh. Is it with, pronounced with an S, like trash? Yeah, with a exactly. H, sorry. Uh, trash. Sim, sim. Oh, please let me type. What the hell? Oh, I can't do you, it. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, is that okay? Sorry. Just like trash? Do you want yeah, me to do Yeah, yeah. Put, just put like trash in. in, okay. in. Um... okay. Okay, awesome. Um, and then. Um... Como, ah, oh, como vou, não, como vou para o, ah, yeah, uh, como vou, como, como vou para o museu? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was difficult. Como vou para o museu? That was very good. That was very good. Como vou, como vou para o museu? Como vou para o museu? Uh, o museu é muito longe? Mm -hmm. uh, não, longe. 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 Oh, ok, longe. That was good. Longe. Uh, mm -hmm. Onde posso apanhar? No, apanhar. Sim, sim, sim. sim. Ok. Uh, o, o, onde posso apanhar o autocarro número 12? Mm -hmm. uh, tens que. Não, tens que apanhar o autocarro. Muito mm -hmm. uh, bem. Co... Mm. Okay, okay, yeah. uh, como. Como vou para o hotel? Vou. Não, vou. 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 Um, uh, como vou, um, como, como vou, vou para o hotel? Ah, oh, sorry, can you, someone's just at the window. I need to just grab the door. Can you give me one second? Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, cool, one sec. Hey, sorry, sorry. 
the joys of living at home. Um, so, are you, are you happy with your new place now, settled in and stuff, and or? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's a very big room. So, oh, good, yeah. good, good, good. Because I can imagine West Kensington, your place must have been a bit smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. much smaller. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, much better here. Okay, so where were we? Um, uh, almost finished. Um, so, Danish ge vir. Oh yeah. Como vou? Okay. Como vou para o hotel? Okay. Uh, so now it's um. Tens que virar? No. Sim, 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 muito bem. Tens que virar na primeira. Okay. Tens que virar na primeira esquerda. Depois, depois vais. No, depois. No, depois. Depois. Depois vais. Depois vais sempre em frente. I want to say it like it's actually okay. So be. Tens que virar na primeira esquerda. Depois vai sempre em frente. Muito depois uh, virás a virás. Uh, depois virás a direita. Uh, direita. Direita. A direita. Oh, I got it wrong. Muito depois direita. virás a direita. Uh, a ah uh, não a uh, aí a uh, uh, aí um banco é o hotel é logo a seguir. Perfeito. Oh wow. Sim. And then um para okay. Parage, okay. Bar so that's you have to take the first left and then you go straight ahead and then turn right. There's a bank next there and there's a hotel on the right next to it. Okay, so right is the uh, Shkerda is left, right is Dereita. Okay, Parage, Parage, Parage de Autocarro. Uh, taxi, com Comboio. Comboio, okay. Comboio and then Billeta. Billete. 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 Billet, muito bem, sim. Billet. Billet. Uh, random shit do you pack? Oh, so sad. Uh, oh, wow, it's frozen. No, it isn't. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, entao. Ah, entao. Okay. The, entao. So, uh, no, then, then. Bon, well, bon. Oh. Shh. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, is that good? Oh, yeah, I don't know if it's because yeah, I have my... Today. Say yeah, again? You learned a lot of... You learned a lot today, I think. I think so. A lot of new stuff. It feels, yeah? Where are you? I hear you are. Hello. Yeah, hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it feels like my head's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, um, that was cool. That was really good. Thanks.